All right, y'all, I'm headed up the road here <clears throat> to the woods. Today is Friday. We'll see what we can get done. Uh, maybe get a load of logs or something like that and go load up some wood for Monday morning so we can storm the gates. <clears throat> We're still uh, under tight quota and, you know, don't see it letting up anytime soon. Uh, I was trying to have some rain move in, but uh, it's been a tough week this week. Uh, as y'all may know, if not, anyway, this here is my truck. This is, you know, what I bought and doing my own thing with here. <clears throat> and then uh, I was still working the woods, running the cutter and doing whatever. Uh, for my dad, family business, and uh, <clears throat> then, you know, I haul for him mainly, uh, you know, it's a couple other people that I haul for, you know, on the side when I can, but uh, everything's been so tight here lately, that, you know, they hadn't had any loads to give me, so I've just been hauling over here with Pop, and uh, this week, uh, it was couple weeks ago I had that universal joint go bad and uh, put it out of commission for you know a day or two <clears throat> getting that fixed uh, but this week uh, at like you know midnight on Sunday night you know cleaning the truck up and doing this and that and all I uh, found out that I got a broke spring on the back and uh, it's a low air leaf system, uh, so the airbag actually sets down on the back of it, so when it breaks, if it spreads apart enough, you know, it'll come down and, you know, hit the road, mess your airbag up and all that. So, being on tight quota, it's hard to get those loads in you know, in the beginning of the week uh, to make sure nobody else, you know, goes over their quota and gets some of ours. We try to uh, <clears throat> work the pulp wood real hard in the beginning of the week and get those loads off. And it's uh, tough if you have a truck down and trying to do it, you know, with one truck uh, because the other one is mainly being used for a switch truck right now. It would take, uh, you know, a little bit of work to get it back road worthy. And uh, so we've just been mainly relying on these two trucks. And anyway, I took the hammer and hit the spring and closed the gap back up. And then I tack welded the, you know, I couldn't get the U-bolts off and get everything in there to where I could get to it good. So I just welded it side on each corner where I could get to it and uh, you know took it slow and easy try to watch the bumps and all that kind of stuff and I uh, was able to haul four loads that way <clears throat> you know kind of limping it through the day is uh, what I say and uh, you know I went and got my wife to order the springs and all that you know on that Monday so Everything, you know, nobody has anything in stock anymore. Everything has to be ordered from somewhere. And, uh, there's not a close Peterbilt dealership to us. It's almost 100 miles away. It's like two hours and 10, 15 minutes, something like that away. And, uh, anyway, the spring come in on Wednesday. Uh, but I couldn't get the U-bolts out. They were too rusted in there. So I had to have U-bolts, <coughs> which we ordered them to start with on Monday. But uh, they couldn't get them aftermarket. They had to come from Peterbilt. And they weren't coming in until at least, you know, late evening Thursday, maybe even today. So I went on down to the... Uh, Peterbilt place yesterday and you know picked up 
set of U-bolts and uh, got her back going now. Got a load of logs with it yesterday. It did fine, but um, it's really stressful, you know, because I hadn't had the truck that long, and then, uh, you know, tight quotas hitting us. Uh, you know, the rain had been hitting us for the last couple of months. It would rain an inch every week. Then everything falling apart on the truck. Not only the cost of the parts, but the downtime is what hurts so bad. You know, watching the loads disappear and uh, not getting paid for them. That's worse than the, uh, you know, repair costs is the downtime the load's lost. But still with everything, the springs and the new bushings, the U-bolts and all this kind of stuff, it's like <clears throat> 800 and some dollars. And it just uh, seems to be non-stop right now for some reason in our experience in logging. You'll have, you know, weeks or months or stuff like that. Certain tracks seem to have it worse than others, but you'll just get a spell that everything just flies apart one after another, after another, after another, after another. And then it'll level out and, you know, be all right for a while. But we're just trying to hang on and ride this thing out. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can hang on to the other side and, uh, come out better in the long run. But, anyway, <clears throat> got weather up and down. It doesn't know if it wants to be summer or be winter, and it's got everybody all choked up and allergies messed up, so. But, out here in the woods, logging and stuff like that. Uh, it's the type of thing that you wouldn't do it if it wasn't, you know, what you love to do. It's, uh, you know, a lifestyle, so. We try to take the good with the bad. <clears throat> Sometimes it seems like it's more bad than good, but. Anyway, here we are. Uh, still fighting. <laughs>